Hello everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to show you all of the binders that I own, which is in fact my entire binder collection, and we are going to start with the smallest. I have this Filofax Compact Penny Bridge in Cobalt Blue, and I purchased this um, in 2013, and I have used it as a wallet practically since day one, but I have also used it as a satellite binder whenever I'm on vacation and I have made videos about that which I will link down below. But here it is, the compact penny bridge is really structured to function as a wallet because of all the pockets for the cards and the cash and the coins. Right now I am not using it and it's gotten a lot of wear, but I'm still keeping it in my collection because it's still very, very functional. The second binder in my collection is the personal sized Filofax Safiano in the color Aqua. And it has a stain here and there. And it has also gotten a lot of wear, to, like the Filofax Safiano. Um, but this is really my very first Filofax binder. And this is the very first Filofax that I have made a video of. And this is the Filofax that started my YouTube channel. And I will link my very first YouTube channel about it down below. Now I don't use this binder anymore, but I still keep it in my collection for sentimental purposes. And then the next binder that I have is the personal sized Filofax Savannah. This is from Janet Carr and she gave this to me because I joined her Filofax project a couple of years ago and I will link the video I made about it down below. One thing I have noticed about the Filofax Savannah is that it gets that white film on the metal rings which doesn't happen with the Filofax Safiano as you can see and now I just tried to wipe away the white film on the metal rings of the Filofax Savannah with an ordinary wet wipe and it I was able to get off most of the white film but I'm wondering why this has a white film because the Savannah and the Safiano are stored together in the same drawer so they are exposed to pretty much the same things or they are protected against pretty much the same things but the Savannah gets that white film but the Safiano doesn't. But anyway, um, there are no rusts on the Savannah, it's just the white film which comes off with an ordinary wet wipe so that's okay I guess. And then we have this personal sized Fino binder which has 20 millimeter rings. I have made a video about this in my channel and I will link it down below and I also made another video about how I am using this binder as a satellite binder. But when I'm not using it as satellite binder, I am using it as a wallet, which you can see right here because I'm giving my Filofax Compact Penny Bridge a rest because it's already worn down. I think this Fino binder is going to hold up better than the Compact Penny Bridge because this is made of real leather and the Penny Bridge is not. And then the next one is the binder that I am actually using now as my planner and it has 30 millimeter rings but it's so so super stuffed as you can see. It is the Kiki K medium sized in Ocean and I got this um, pre-loved, well actually just pre-owned because she hardly ever used it. Um, I have also made a video about it and I will link it down below. So this is the binder that I'm on and it's okay but one of the things that annoys me is that it doesn't have a secretarial pocket so I'm stuck with sticking papers there and then of course there's that zipper pocket in the front that really really annoys me but I'm using it as my binder for now. Next I have this Franklin Covey compact sized which is comparable to 
uh, the Filofax personal sized, but this one has 1.25 inch rings and I also have a video discussing the features of this binder and also another video about how I have set this up. I think it was in May of 2017. So I will link those videos down below. This is made of a suede material and even though I have continued to use this together with this pouch right here, um, it's still got some stains and some parts have gotten shiny with use, but that's okay. I was kind of surprised that I actually liked using this binder. In fact, I am thinking of going back to this binder, but it's the, uh, the need for a pouch that I find a little bit annoying, but my goal really is to train myself to live on smaller rings and these ones are like 1.25 inches which converts to about 32 millimeters and right now I'm on the Kiki K which has 30 millimeters so it doesn't make sense for me to go back to bigger rings when I'm trying to train myself to live on smaller rings but anyway I like this binder so I'm keeping this in my collection. And then this is the binder that everybody seems to want to buy. <laughs> this is the binder that was given to me as a random act of kindness or rack by Deborah Pryor. And this is a Franklin Covey with 1.5 inch rings. And I love this binder so, so much. I have used this from September 2014. The, September 9, 2014 was the day it arrived to me from Deborah uh, through the post office. And since that day, I used it continuously until about um, May. 2017 so that's a really really long time I love this binder so much it has worked so well for me it has been my companion and my personal assistant through so many um, difficult times in my life and I have a really soft spot for this binder and I'm never letting this binder go and when life gets difficult again and when I have to take care of multiple things at the same time again I'm going back to this binder I don't know the actual name of this binder, but it does have a series of numbers at the back and I've researched it and it didn't really mean anything. I wasn't able to get any information regarding those numbers, but here it is. This is the binder that I really, really love. And to those who are still inquiring whether I am going to sell this binder, I am not going to sell this binder. But thank you so much for appreciating this binder and for wanting to buy it. And lastly, here is the binder that I have actually not used yet. This is a Franklin Covey with 1.5 inch rings. It's also the compact sized. I have personal size and compact size binders all throughout um, because they have the same ring configuration. So I can easily throw in content from one binder to the other. And this is the binder that came to me with brand new 1.5 inch rings but the rings that I have on this binder are actually the 1.5 inch rings from my old binder that looked like this but doesn't have the pockets at the outside. Um, that binder I call General Hugo but somebody bought him and so what I did was I took the brand new rings from this binder and placed it on General Hugo so that the buyer of that binder can get the brand new rings but I kept General Hugo's old rings in this binder so I have a video about it which I will link down below and the title of the video is Goodbye General Hugo but I am keeping your heart and soul with me because I think that the heart and soul of a planner binder is really the rings so I kept General Hugo's old rings while at the same time the buyer of General Hugo got the brand new 1.5 inch rings. And this is a very very interesting binder. It also has compartments for a wallet and other things and as you have already seen it has that big um, zipper pocket at the back and it has a zip around closure and it also has these shoulder straps so you can carry it as a shoulder bag like 
like what women use in the 1980s. Um, the binder has these small metal D-rings at the corners, as you can see there, and that is where the straps can be attached. And I have already sized or adjusted the length of these straps to conform to um, the, the uh, height that I want to carry the binder with me. But I never really was able to use this binder at all. It is quite big, it is quite bulky, but I am holding on to this binder. I'm not selling it because, well, who knows? I might um, need such a very, very functional binder and I'm, I just might get a chance to carry it this way. I think it I think it's quite nice and I have been using big heavy bags for a very long time and if a day ever comes that I can live on this small a bag I will be happy and I will have this binder with me to use. And so really, those are all of the binders that I have. The Filofax Compact Penny Bridge in Cobalt Blue, the Filofax Safiano in Aqua, the Filofax Savannah in um, Brown, and then the Fino, and then the Kiki K Ocean, and then the Franklin Covey with 1.25 inch rings, and then the Franklin Covey with 1.5 inch rings, the one from Debra, and then finally this Franklin Covey with 1.5 inch rings with a zip around closure and the detachable shoulder strap. I think I have a pretty good range in my collection already. I have the teeny tiny rings that I can use as satellite binders or as wallets. And I also have the regular Filofaxes with the 23 millimeter rings. And I also have 30 millimeter rings and I have the 1.25 inch rings and then two binders with 1.5 inch rings. One of them is pretty basic, the pink one, and then the other is like these, this super duper functional one with the mega pockets and the zip around closure and the detachable shoulder straps. And I am pretty happy with each and every one of them. Each one has a function in my life and I have used every single one of them at some point in time and they have served me really, really well. And that's my video for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye.